OK, come here. Right, bit of poetry for you today, Dennis. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Now, I can't remember who wrote that, because it's gone clean out of my head, rather like the 177 million gallons that go clean out of Thames water's pipes every day through leaks. <laughs> but that's privatisation for you. Right, by now, Dennis, even you would have realised that what I'm tripping on about is how come when the water industry's profits are about 10 billion and rising every year, the soaring profits keep meeting investment plummeting the other way. All of which means that half the stuff gets spilt before it's even got to you, which is what happens to me every night down at the Dog and Bailiff. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, a good way to avoid leaks... Sorry, Dennis, that word again, but you really should have gone before we started. <laughs> to avoid leaks, the trick is to line your pipes, and that takes an awful lot of this stuff over here, which I need hardly remind you, Dennis, because you're a cameraman. Here's money, no, not too close, because you are a cameraman. Right, OK, good old-fashioned wonga. Now, the water companies are making rather a lot of this stuff, and if, for example, Yorkshire Water spent just 20% of their profits getting their pipes in order, they'd save enough for every household to have nine showers a day, if you like that sort of thing. Personally, I prefer a rub down with a damp barmaid. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of lining their pipes, the ghastly crew at the water boards prefer to line their pockets and those of their shareholders to the tune of about £7 billion so far. Right. But help is at hand in the shape of the regulator off what? That's off what, of course, the water regulator, as opposed to my regulator, who is, of course, off licence. Right. <laughs> Now, allows companies enough profit to provide for investment. But as it happened, a lot of that wonga has leaked. Oh, sorry, Dennis, nearly there. Hang on, hang on, just hold on to it. Has leaked instead into guess where the aforementioned fat salaries, dividends, and remuneration packages. But any moment now, the regulator may plug that little one, which will mean more of the money pumped into the industry by the taxpayer, that's you, me, and that tasty bit of skirt behind the bar, will go to shoring <laughs> out reservoirs, lakes, and pipes, as opposed to lining the fat cat's litter tray. Right. What do we have to do to get a drink around here? <laughs>